Hey, it's Best of Lovers, Mark and Todd here from Whole Latte Love. Todd, we got something really special. What are we looking at? Yeah, pretty excited. Actually, we're real excited. This is the Gaja Classic Pro. Uh, just got it in, and we're happy to show it to you. And so this is, where is this one made? It's uh, made in Italy. <laughs> this is a machine, not an appliance. We're going to talk more about that because if yeah. you're just getting into espresso. Now, we've always called this really the best entry level machine there is. Mm -hmm. Um, it's been around for a long, long time, and this one's got some upgrades. What's the real one really big upgrade? Yeah, yeah the most beautiful thing. You know, there's lots of good stuff in here. There's a steam one. It's now a commercial steam one. It has a two-hole steam tip on it, and you can really create some nice textured milk for latte art. Um, yeah, we, we love it, and I'm looking forward to showing it to you, and I hope I do well when I do. Yeah, so we're going to brew. You're going to steam. We're going to mm -hmm. pour some art, put you on the spot a little bit. Yep. Uh, we'll take a look at the machine. Uh, if you're if you're familiar with it, you're gonna you're gonna notice all the little changes that we'll go through uh, on the pro model here. Um, and really, with that with that manual steaming now, you're looking for a lot less money at a machine that's really right up there with like a, a Sylvia, mm -hmm. right? I mean, oh, yeah. that, that it'll, was it'll, one it'll, big difference between them. Yeah, it'll perform with a Sylvia without question. Um, we're also going to take a look, again, the machine can grow with you, so you can start, it does come with a pressurized basket, which is what you're going to find, you know, in those entry-level appliances, but, but. Yeah, yeah, but, <laughs> but it has, of course, but. it has a commercial basket, a double yeah. shot and a single shot commercial basket, and, you know, the pressurized basket is if you don't have a grinder, you can put any coffee in that, and you're still going to come out of it, coffee, you'll get mm -hmm. a decent espresso, but if yeah. you get use the commercial ones, you get a real commercial espresso. Yeah, those non-pressurized baskets. And another key difference here is the, the size of that, the group head and the portafilter, 58 yeah, millimeter. Chrome-plated brass, same thing you put on the commercial machine. Fits right into that Gaja back there, a yeah, Gaja commercial machine. Yeah, you take this handle, it fit right in there. Yeah, so. And, but that's not new for Gaja. Gaja's been doing that forever. Right yeah. back to 1977, the Gaja baby. They've always gone for the full commercial groups. So we're going to go through a top to bottom again. The steam wand, it's got the three-way solenoid valve, is what you won't find that on those entry-level espresso appliances. Oh. Um, it, and those things really make a big difference. And again, we'll talk about some of the upgrade ac accessories. So if mm -hmm. you get, you know, if you start without the grinder, then get your grinder. Then you want to, you know, take your take your brewing to the next level. Talk about some filter baskets, some shower screens, and different things you can do. We'll, some other toys. And even talk about some really nice coffees that you could start out with that are really easy to work with and really good. And did we say it's made in Italy, not China? I think maybe the third time, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it is stainless steel wrap. So mm -hmm. uh, let's go around. We're going to take a look. We'll go through top to bottom before we do some brewing and, and that kind of stuff. All right, Todd. So let's start at the top and work our way down right here. Yeah, we got the cup warmer, stainless steel. That's like passive, right? Passive. But these are nice and warm. They've yeah, up there. Yeah, it gets very warm. Yeah. Yep. Then we have the reservoir. You can fill the reservoir from up top here. Mm -hmm. If you want to, you can also pull it out from down below. Okay. But as we work our way down, we got three switches. You got your main power switch, a coffee switch, and a steam switch. Mm -hmm. All in individual ready lights to let you know what's going on. So when a light's on, it's ready. So like right now, it's ready to brew. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, the power light's on to show you that. Okay. Over here, we have, there's a knob to control the steam valve for getting steam or hot water out of the wand here. Okay. We'll and do some here's steaming in a, of milk in a minute. Mm -hmm. Then we got the commercial wand here with a two-hole steam tip, a little rubber grip on that. So when it gets hot, you don't burn yourself. I know they have a rubber thing here, and this is new on this model of the class. I can pull off the blow-off tube here. Yep. Um, look, yeah. those, <laughs> show that. So that's got the little rubber grip as well. Yeah. This doesn't get that hot, but it's good to grab onto. Makes it easy. The old classic had the blow-off tube also. And, and for this, folks who don't know, what does this do? Okay, the, this hooks in with the three-way solenoid valve inside the machine. So when you hit the brew switch off, it relieves the a valve opens, relieves the water pressure off the coffee here, up to the valve, and down through this tube into the drip tray. Into the drip tray. That way you get a nice, neat, dry puck. And also, for maintenance reasons, it's much better than the other way that they can operate or set up machines. Okay. Okay. Then uh, also over here, we've got the full 58 millimeter chrome plated brass portafilter. Uh, weighs a full one pound, mm -hmm. double spouts. Nice handle on it too. Little G on the end, of course. That's new. That's new. And we've got uh, so we've got the double shot non-pressurized basket, a standard basket yeah. in there right now, but it also comes with these guys. Yep, you got a single shot filter basket, and it will also work with pods. Mm -hmm. And um, then we have the double shot uh, pressurized filter basket. And when you use that, you always have to put this two-way pin in the bottom of the porta filter, and then this goes on top of it. So if you're using pre-ground coffee, that's a good way to go. Okay. Then we have, it's come with a little tamper here, and a coffee scoop. Okay. For scooping coffee into your porta filter. And this, the design of the drip tray here has changed a little bit on the Classic Pro, right? I'm yeah. gonna pull that out. Yeah, this is really nice. Uh, 
because it's nice and curved like that. Mm -hmm. And then here's a drip grate that comes off. It used to have a little tray underneath here, which it doesn't need on this one. Uh, good size drip tray too. Yeah. And when you push it in, there's tabs on the bottom that fit in these holes here, so it's nice and solid in there. Now before you push that in, so yeah. you can also remove the reservoir here. I'm, I'm full true. of water, so yeah. I'm not going to pull it out here, but I will show that. We'll kind of let me give a demo, kind of how okay. it comes out. So you pull the tube off, then you can just you can just pulls out the front here. Okay. Okay. All right. And uh, there's a little line that says max for, for your fill height. And now what I noticed down here in the bottom here, this is a, this is a full stainless jacket around this machine, yeah. top to bottom. Not just jacket, it's a housing. It's a housing. Yeah. And again, machine, not appliance, mm -hmm. machine. Mm -hmm. And now we do run into some other single boiler machines, I'm not going to mention the name anymore, but people will know, yeah. that just have steel down here, right? And it can rust and... Mm -hmm. The stainless yeah. steel is not going to do yeah. that, really. That's correct. Yeah. Yep. Another kind of, I'm going to turn a little bit just to notice. Mm -hmm. Look at the, the way the drip tray fits in here. It's really nice. The way it's curved matches up real nice. A really nice upgrade from the other machine, the old uh -huh. machine, excuse me. And now the, uh, the housing is cut out here also, so you can see how much water you have in the reservoir. I mean, you can see from the front, but now you can also see from the side. Yeah, it makes it a little bit easier. A little light in there and also a place just to get your fingers on it and yep. pull it out. So God, just must, more upgrades you're making. All right, so what do you say we do some uh, brewing and steaming? I think it's time. All right, Todd, so let's do some brewing here. What do we, what do we got to do? Okay. For those who don't know. Yeah, we're just going to grind our coffee, and we're going to go. I got the Brazza 270 grinder. <laughs> really nice, nice fluffy grind with that, right? Yeah, I've got this set. It gets about 17 grams with this one. And you're using that plastic tamper, yep. which can work. It can work. I mean... A little upgrading, you can do something like this. A little like nicer. Mm -hmm. We'll hit the brew switch. So wait, the brew switch, just show me that one. Uh, it's right here. Okay. Oh, make sure you get those right. And the coffee we're using, it's the... Uh, this one is the Maromas, Orphea. One of your favorites. Yep, I really do like this stuff. And you can see it just makes a gobs of crema there. Yeah, I'm going to stop this a little short. Okay. Hit the steam switch so it starts to heat up. So you hit this guy yeah, here. Yeah, that switch here, yep. And at this point, pass. oh yeah, show yep. us the puck. Right, get out of there. There it is. Okay. Okay. But not, not all soupy and stuff is, yeah. is what you're going to get on a uh, one of the espresso appliances for the pressurized basket. Yeah, normally, so, you don't have to hit it that hard, you know. Yeah. But for the camera, it says, you know, I'm going to be hard. I'm not going to come out. And how much okay. milk are you going? That's a. Uh, you like a little right below up, the spout. A little below the spout. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you purge. Give a little purge. You always get some condensation no matter what you're doing mm -hmm. in the wands there, so you yep. always purge them. Of course, they've got to act like a teacher always. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got a little coffee in there. Um, <laughs> put the wands just right near the tip. Listen for the hiss. Very nice roll in there. Okay, it's getting warm, so I'm going to put just steam now. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to, I'm going to keep the tip buried. Just keep the roll going. That's Got a decent roll working there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Always wipe the wand. Yep. And purge a little, right? A little purge. Okay. Okay. So I don't know if you can Here's see the, the milk of, of that. Truth. Look at the oh, yeah. creamy that is. Nice. So whether it pours or not. You can't get that with the auto frothing. You really can't. No. Not bad, my friend. I'm sure you're going to tell me it's not your best work, and I know it isn't. Yeah, it's okay, but with the key is, you know the machine can do it. Right. You know, so, yeah, so she's the beauty. That's, uh, that's how you make a quick latte on the, on the Classic. So, Todd, I, I noticed you didn't make me a latte, but... The espresso was for you. <laughs> okay, and I did enjoy that off camera. Um, so, let, let's just kind of recap the machine a little bit here, and then I want to talk about some of the accessories that are available. Okay. So, again, yeah. it's a... Former Consumers Digest, Best Buy, and... Yeah, that's before the upgrades. Before yeah, the upgrades, so... And now it's got uh, a new pump mount, so it's very quiet. Yeah, we, I don't think we mentioned that. New pump new mount, new I'll show that, yep. yep. In case I didn't mention a couple times, Italian made. Italian? <laughs> yeah, commercial steam wand, two-hole steam tip. It's got the new controls on the front with a new uh, ready lice, so you can, it's much easier to see. Mm -hmm. And we've got the little cutout around the reservoir to uh, see the water level a little bit easier. All yeah. new drip tray on this, nice, smooth, and good looking. Uh, that's basically it. And again, really what we consider to be the 
best entry level espresso machine because it can grow with you. And I want to talk some more about that. Again, you can, now we were grinding here on a Brazza 270, Sete 270, it's really. A, yeah, really good match for the grinder, yeah. for the machine. Uh, but you can start without it using that pressurized mm -hmm. basket. But when you get the grinder and you want to go, you know, want to go maybe a little next level with stuff, some of the accessories we have. We love the Barista Pro Nanotech filter baskets. They come 18, 20, 22 grams, so you can, you know, you can pull a triple mm -hmm. shot on this if you want. Sure. Wow. Um, one of my favorites, you know, is uh, the bottomless porta filter. So if you're going to get the bottomless porta filter, you might as well get the really nice Barista Pro basket to go in there. Um, and that's when you, you, know, you make that espresso pour and you can really see it. And not only that, but it really, a bottomless porta filter really helps with your technique, you know, if you're getting any channeling. Yeah, those are all right. these, all these, a lot of these all accessories these. really help with that. Learn how to avoid channeling and get the best coffee. And there's even a Nanotech shower screen um, that you can use in place of the, mm -hmm. the stock one. The stock one's okay. Um, the, the Nanotech one gives you just a little nicer flow and stays a lot cleaner. Sure, you know, we find with the ProServer machines come with great uh, starter stuff, just like the classic, but then yeah. these, we also use upgrades for those, so yeah. you don't need it, but it gives you some upgrade to yeah. it, and it's fun. Yeah, even on a $3,000 machine, we're putting we're nanotech upgrades. shower screens yep. in there. Um, the silicone group gasket, eventually, over time, the group gasket wears out. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one of those wear parts. We kind of like the silicone ones. It's the, the yellow Cafe Works gra gasket for this machine, and, you know, it comes with a plastic tamper, which you used. It works. And, and it works okay. Um, if you want to take it to the next level, um, you know, like the Rattleware 58 uh, millimeter tamper. Um, I happen to like the levelers. We have the Jack leveler. I really like that one. Mm -hmm. But it's, you know, you can upgrade and, and increase your experience here with the machine if you want mm -hmm. to. And if you, when you go to Whole Latte Love, we've got this great, we just launched a new website a couple, yeah. well, not new yeah. website, upgraded, upgraded website. Upgraded, yes. It's like the classic, we upgrade as well. So we've got a bundler on there. So we've got products like that, those upgrade things that'll work with your machine. Um, coffees that we've picked out yeah. that are really gonna work well. I know we've got the, the uh, Cafe Mio, their uh, Crema Plus here, one of my favorites, of mm -hmm. course, the Orphea, I'm always talking about yeah. that. Uh, and we have some, some uh, stuff here from uh, Gimme Give Coffee. Gimme Coffee. Yeah. yeah. And so. that bundler, which is kind of nice, is you can have the machine set on it, then you can click on the grinder you want to see next to it. Get to see what it looks like next yeah. to it. Real pictures, not Photoshopped. Actual size relationships of the different things yeah, you're doing. Mark did all that. So, anyway. And the programmers, <laughs> programmers of course. <laughs> Anything else about the classic, we should say? Uh, no, I think we covered it pretty good. It's just, a, just an awesome machine. All right, Todd. Thanks a lot. And thank you guys for watching. You know, if you like this kind of stuff, do subscribe to the channel. And what I always say, come on back soon for more of the best in everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.